so today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect wrap for your 20 ounce skinny tumbler. This is for a straight tumbler. So if you have a tapered tumbler, you'll want to make sure you get a template for tapered, but this is for a straight one. So what you're going to do is if you haven't already, you're going to want to make sure that you have Silhouette Studio downloaded. Um, you are able to do this with the free version. You don't have to upgrade or anything. Um, I do have the business, which I will say is worth every penny, but that's just me. But anyway, so from here, what we're going to do is we first want to make sure our page is set up correctly. So from here, I'm going to go over here to the right side and open that page setup, which is that very first little paper right there. Um, I always like to make sure that the machine is selected for none. Cutting mat, none. Your media size is going to be the size of your paper. So um, since this is a 20 ounce skinny, I don't need anything bigger than a regular letter size paper. So go ahead and select that, which is the 8.5 by 11. Um, or if you have a different size paper, you can always do custom as well and manually enter in your dimensions right there but it already does it for you so there's no point of doing that but anyway and also want to go ahead and make sure that you have landscape selected which is right here um, also another thing is make sure right here you have show print border selected and the show cut border not selected because if you do the cut border um a red line will pop up and everything but i don't even think yeah it doesn't even really let you select that but make sure you have that now with um this we also want to make sure our printer page is set up correctly so after here go up to file i'm going to try to go slow i don't want to go too fast okay and then we're going to select underneath print um print page setup so you're going to go ahead and select that. And from here, you'll have this pop up. Now, depending if you have Windows or I have a Mac, but Windows, it's pretty similar. Um, so you'll just want to make sure you select your printer that you're printing from. And then the paper size, which this is the most important part anyway, um, you're going to want to make sure you select your paper here. And so I'm going to do the US letter and you want to make sure you have borderless selected. If you have regular letter, some of your image will be cut off, which I, it took me forever to realize this and I kept losing some of my image. So make sure you have borderless selected. So go ahead and click that. And then again, just make sure landscape and then scale is 100%. And then just go ahead and click okay here. And now from here, we are ready to bring in our image. So Go ahead and select file, open, just the regular open. And then you'll get this box here. Now, depending where you're at, like you can find where your file is at. Mine's on my desktop here. Go ahead and select your file and hit okay. And then your file will load. Depending on the size of your image, sometimes it takes a few seconds here. So here is my Tumblr wrap, but the size is not correct. So what I'm going to want to do is edit this. Now what I have, and I actually have all of these instructions typed up. So I will make sure you get a copy of this right here is we're going to want to make sure that it is 9.210 wide and 8.17 tall. So I'm going to go over here into my image to do that. So first I'm going to want to make sure my image is selected. And then I am going to go up here where this is where the dimensions are entered is this area. Now um, there's a little lock right here, which is similar to design space. If you're similar with that, you're gonna wanna make sure you unlock the dimensions. That way you can manually enter it in and it won't automatically adjust. So width is gonna be 9.210. And then just push enter. And then the height is 9. Point, oh, sorry, excuse me, 
8.7, and my mind is going blank. What was it? Eight, oh, sorry, way off. 8.17. Eight point one seven, right there hit enter so now here it is and you just honestly you just want to make sure it is within this white so that's why we made it borderless if it wasn't borderless then we would have a black box around here like and it wouldn't fit it end up cutting off a little bit of the bottom or the top of our image so and so I always put that in here doesn't really matter where but now we want to make sure we mirror this image otherwise it's not gonna do it correctly so we're gonna go ahead and click the image right click and select flip horizontally do that now sometimes depending on the image this might move a little bit I've had it where it comes back and it's like down here or over here somewhere so you just want to make sure if that is the case to readjust here to make sure it is within this white. And now we're going to go up to file so we can print this. And we're going to go ahead and hit print. And something I really like about the Silhouette Studio is it always does this um, print preview. So you can see exactly what you're printing. So I can check on here, make sure that the image is good and that none of it's cut off, confirm that, and then go ahead and hit print again. Now here, depending on your printer, um, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the highest quality set. So like in Mac, it pulls it right up. I know in Windows, you have to go into page setup from there and you just always wanna make sure that the best quality is selected. So then you get the best one there. And then you're going to go ahead and hit print. And then it is going to print off your image. And then from there, you're just going to go ahead and cut around your image, put it around your tumbler. It should fit around perfectly. Um, if there is any excess on the top or the bottom, that is okay. I actually like that because then I can make sure that there's plenty of coverage. I don't have to worry about any white lines on the top or the bottom. And then as for the seam, I've never, like with this setting, I have gotten the perfect seam every single time. So I will go ahead and um, head over and do a video of the wrap next with the tumbler press. So be right there. All right, so we went ahead and did all of our designs on the computer, printed it off, cut it out, and now we have this perfectly sized sheet ready to be sublimated on our 20 ounce straight skinny tumbler. So obviously you wanna make sure you, you are using a sublimation tumbler. This will not work on a regular standard stainless steel tumbler. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and get our image wrapped around the tumbler. And to do that, you are gonna to wanna to make sure you have heat tape. So you can buy this online. It's pretty affordable which is great and what I like to do is start off with a small piece and then I just go ahead and take that and I line my top my paper up with the top straight as I can I like to do that so I make sure that I have nice and even all around the cup and then go ahead that's so all even. Go ahead and rotate the paper. Pull it as tight as you can. You want that seam to be touching. If it overlaps a small amount, that is okay. I actually prefer it that way. I found if they're not overlapping a tiny bit, then I do have a line every time. But if I have it overlap, like barely barely because as you can see on this hopefully you can tell it's just barely overlapping right there so all right so I've got my top all taped on there nice and tight and then what I'm going to do is this side right here is starting to over is what is overlapping that side so I'm going to go from this side and work over here and pull it as tight as I can so I am just going to take this tape here pull it there and while I'm holding it 
pull it as tight as I can so I get that nice thing and then work my way down. I find that if I tape the bottom to start with, I can end up with a bunchy middle. And nobody wants a bunchy middle. I mean, am I right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and work the way right down on here. Okay, just like that. So it'll kind of look like a, a shoe or stitches or something. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure we have that seam as tight as possible, as well as the bottom and the top. Now your bottom is overlapping just a little bit, and that's a good thing because that way you won't have that harsh white line at the bottom. When it overlaps a little bit, then it curves into the cup and then it kind of curves underneath the bottom. So it looks a little bit more like even and just put together better. So again, just like I did before, Go ahead and take the tape. Now, when you do the top, you're gonna wanna make sure that the tape is higher than the cup, just like this. I didn't do a big enough piece, and that is okay. Take a smaller piece there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and push those in. Oh, and I have long hair and I shed so bad. So I've got a hair in there. Pull that out. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do that. Pull it as tight. And then I just like to take my thumb and go around it. Make sure I got that really nice and tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the seam next. And I like to start on from the top there. And I put that piece inside of the cup there. Hold, hold it right here with my finger, pull this as tight as I can, and pull that up here, right there. And then again with my finger, push that down. Get that as tight as you can, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and go around the bottom. So we're gonna get that long piece here. And go ahead and wrap that around. As tight as you can. And then just like we did with the top, go ahead and push that towards the middle. That's not gonna look perfect at all. You're gonna feel like the paper's bunched up. I promise it's gonna look great no matter what, so. You will be totally fine. It's gonna look like that's how it's supposed to be. So that is totally fine. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then what I like to do, again, just so I can make sure I got that seam nice and tight, is go ahead and do one more right here. Pull that really tight. And then one more on this side. Might be overkill, but better to do too much than not enough, right? And then same with the tops and the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead. I like to kind of start from the same area just because after you are done and you are pulling the tape off, it's so much easier to pull it off when it kind of all is starting around the same area. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more at the top there. And just like we've been doing this whole time, pull that tape as tight as you can. Now from here, I know that some people like to do the shrink wrap, um, painter's tape, or cover this entire cup with tape. Honestly, I've tried all of those different techniques and I have found that really my best results are when I just do this. When I don't put anything in the middle here, um, sometimes when I put tape around the middle, um, I've had the tape transfer to the image somehow, or there'll be little lines throughout it, and then it's ruined my cup and I have to start over again. So just as long as you have that tight, tight, tight seam, and then the tight um, seams at the top and the bottom, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about. So now we are gonna go ahead and do our heat press. So make sure you have your heat press on. 
and um, my tumbler press here. I have it heated up to 365 degrees. Now you um, are gonna wanna make sure that you check the temperature. You can buy those little laser temperature gun things and test it out to see what the temperature is to make sure it's correct. So after working with mine, I found that, cause um, you're gonna want it really at about 370 to 375. So I find if mine's at 365, mine heats up a little bit cooler. Like it says 365, but it's actually 370. So that's why I have it set to that. So now what I'm going to do is put my tumbler in. And the way that I like to do it is with the seam right here. I am going to put it seam side down. Okay, that way I make sure that that part gets really good on there. So go ahead and put that in. I like to make sure that's as centered to the bottom as I can and put it right in the middle of the heat press. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close it and make sure these have enough pressure on them. You don't want it like super, super tight, but you definitely want like a snugger fit on there. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for 45 seconds. So here we go. Alexa, stop. All right, so my timer went off. Go ahead and open that. And what I'm gonna do now is rotate the cup so that seam is at the top. And then I'm gonna close it and go ahead and do this for another 45 seconds. Also, I did wanna note that you might notice your temperature fluctuating because of the cup. And that freaked me out at first, but I haven't had any issues with it. So I think it's fine, but. All right, so let's go ahead and do this side. Alexa. Alexa, stop. Okay, so now that that side is done with the 45 seconds, now what I like to do is go ahead and rotate it. It doesn't matter which way you rotate it. I'm just gonna go ahead and push it a few inches and then I'm gonna close it and do 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open that. And I am gonna do that every few inches here until I make it all the way around. So close this 10 seconds and go back. All right, so I'll finish with that now. And it's nice and piping hot, so that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So you can either submerge it in some water to cool it down or let it sit for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit. My basement floors aren't finished, so they're always pretty cold. So find if I just set it on the floor, it does that. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and unwrap it. All right, so it's been like two minutes and I mean, it's still warm to the touch, but it's definitely, I can hold it and I'm fine. Now, one thing, when you are unwrapping, you need to be careful while it is warm because you could scratch it and then some of the image can scratch off while it's still warm. I know that from experience. So I, I don't, I've seen people use like X-Acto knives and that's when I had a lot of issues. So I just grab a pair of scissors and try not to use them unless I really have to. And just be really careful not to cut around the actual cup. So what I like to do is go ahead and take this big piece here that I stuck in the top and the bottom. So that's why I like to try to have everything around the same area. Cause now I should just be able to pull that there. This is where you might need some scissors and I'm just gonna barely snip the tape. Trying to be really careful not to cut the cup. So see how good that came off once you have it all in the same area. So then it just makes life so much easier for you. And then that all comes off at once. So 
So that way you're not sitting there for half an hour trying to find where your tape spots are. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. And these ones, and I love that this tape comes off so easily. Like you really don't need any special tools. Just your nose. Oh my gosh, I just saw a peek. The colors went really good. All right, here we go. Okay, and now my absolute favorite part, the reveal. So go ahead and take that off. <gasps> Look how cute. And check that out. So cute. And like you can see on the bottom, how we did have that little bit of an overlap. And even though the paper looked a little scrunchy, it does not look scrunchy at all. Now, one thing that you might notice, and this freaked me out when I first started doing these, is you are going to feel kind of a rough film on this, possibly. I don't always have it, but sometimes I do. And I thought I had ruined my cup. And so I had lots of cups that I didn't do because I thought I had ruined them. But if you either wash it with soap and water, that comes right off. Or you can also use some rubbing alcohol. And I just kind of go over the cup with that. Take off my glove. It's not hot anymore. And just kind of rip that. And you do not have to worry about your image. It is not coming off. It is on there. And then you'll notice it's all smooth and shiny. And the colors come out more. And then you'll have a more vibrant cup. And it's just perfect. that. Okay. But there is that. And here is our cup. Look how good. Look at that seam. There is a little bit of a line there, but it's not, honestly, it's not anything. So this, I mean, I guess I could, you could make this. This isn't advertised as a seamless um, design, but even if it does have that with the seamless designs, you, you can't even hardly tell at all so most of the time it's pretty non-existent so like for example here's another one that I did for somebody just an Avengers cup and I mean it wasn't there but you can't even as you can see the seam isn't even there the image was cut off anyway that wasn't from me but that's just how the image was but you should have a perfect sublimated cup and also, that's why you want to go all the way up to the top as well, because then you don't have to worry about any overhang at all or anything. So, good job. Now do this and let me know how it goes. Bye.